so this is your love reading for February of 2018 now. My goodness. I'm Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Although personally, I think the Moon sign is the best fit. And if you don't know yours, there's a link to a website that'll tell you all of that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is... Um, a card like kind of representing you, where you're at right now in February in regards to love, Sagittarius. Um, we're getting, okay, you're closing doors on things from the past. You're stepping into a new cycle of something, so that's good for single Sagittarians. Um, they say pay attention to the details of things that you want in your life. Stay really focused on all of the work you're doing to close those doors and your own personal betterment in order to attract the kind of person that you want in your life. Good for you. Now the next thing is um, what are some behavioral patterns that you have right now in February that are kind of influencing your love life for better and then for worse? So for better, you're being very focused and working super hard, paying attention to the details of like the things you need to let go of, what you need to do in order to be the best partner possible. But then for worse, it's like you maybe talk to people that you shouldn't <laughs> because they're not uh, for your highest good. So this could be talking to an ex. That doesn't help you move forward. That doesn't help you step onto this new path. Or this could be um, engaging in Tinder conversations with people just who aren't right for you. It's clear to you, but eh, fuck it, let's see where this goes kind of a thing, right? So those are your behavioral influences. Um, what are areas that you need to work on in order to kind of grow to attract the love that you truly desire? And what we're getting is um, you've got to kind of work on the area of choice, right? Because for better and for worse, like on the one hand, you're doing personal growth, but maybe you're not doing it as quickly. Or maybe there's this temptation to speak to exes or to talk to somebody that's maybe not right for you. And that's clear to you. It's just that you're like, eh, why not? But the reason why not is because it, if it's not right for you, it's occupying space in your mind and in your energy field. And so it's harder than to attract the person you want. So just um, they're saying the best thing that you can do is what you're already doing. You're focusing on yourself. You're really starting to love yourself and know your worth. And you know that the love that you put into things um, creates things to grow. So good for you. Um, you're in this particular kind of energy in the month of February where people are just naturally attracted to you. They're drawn to you. They think that you're beautiful, that you're smart, that you're creative, that you're sexy, that you're trustworthy, that you're all of these wonderful things, but particularly sexy. Um, and so you're easy to fall in love with in the month of February. It's just a matter of are you going to attract the right people to fall in love with you or not, right? And so be really cognizant of your decisions, but you're very set up in order to have an amazing February and meet somebody wonderful. By the end of the month, you could be totally overflowing with love should you um, be communicating with the right people, which is sort of your choice, right? So um, good job and congrats on all of the personal growth. I'm really proud of you. Now, uh, what are the areas of your life that you probably need to change in order to find the right love match? And what they're saying is, uh, if you have this idea that finding love is challenging, that is absolutely the reality that you're going to have. Um, but then, like the also the uh, the other side of it is that because this is because less of you feel that way and more of you feel the second way. Okay, more of you feel like. You know, um, I even though you've done this personal growth and you're like working on the law of attraction and you're making your vision boards and that's all great, but you're kind of like, okay, um, so if universe or destiny is going to bring me the right person in divine timing, that's fantastic, and I'm just going to let that happen. But then when it shows up, you're like, oh, okay, well... I asked the universe for a relationship that's super easy, that they just like fit right into my life and you're not wrong to ask for that, but there will be little bumps and challenges along the way and it's just like, you have to be open to that. Like, some of you are just maybe not willing to take a risk, right, to get to know somebody because what if it's a waste of your time? What if you end up in a relationship that fails? And those are fears that you have and they're not necessarily invalid, but they don't actually help you either. They say that you've been through enough, you have enough life experience, so put release those fears, see how the fear color, the um, sacral chakra energy is behind him. Put that fear aside, carry your wisdom forward. I mean, you look at his eyes. He's like glancing to the side like, okay, is this right? Is this not? Like, 
Um, he's paying a lot of attention. His feet, he's, it's almost like he's ready for a battle, like he's ready for a fight, and that's not what he wants, right? But his feet are um, grounded in like this concrete kind of reality, like you're very analytical this month, and so that's going to serve you well, but you have to feel the passion or the excitement and the, the enthusiasm in order to take the risks uh, that are involved in you know, attracting love or starting new love relationships because you have these wonderful cards here saying that you are at your sexiest this month, right? People are naturally drawn to you. You're easy to fall in love with. I don't see any real communication problems, anything like that that typically comes up. And it's like, so let yourself fall in love. Um, the, you know, with the greatest risks come the greatest rewards. So uh, the final card I was going to pull for you are areas that maybe you need to release or like liberate from yourself. So maybe a little bit redundant of a message, but I guess we'll see. Uh, as I say that, we're six minutes and six seconds into the video. And so what that's telling me is that um, it's about balance. Because six is about balance, the give and take, what you give to trying to attract this mate, um, you will get back. And then the zero amplifies that message, and then they're capping it off with another six saying, for real though. <laughs> Number messages, so fun. Okay, so what do we have here? What do you need to free yourself from in order to attract uh, love? And so they're saying this um, focus on your deeply emotional kind of fear, okay? Um, and here it comes again. They're saying you're not confused about what you want anymore, and so you have to stop settling for less than what you want because it's totally possible that by the end of the month or in the beginning of March, you will find the person that you're desiring. They say it won't be probably in the beginning of February, okay? Um, it doesn't happen, boom, overnight. But within the course of a month, it's very possible for you, but it does require you to um, maybe be the first person to start a conversation. You see somebody cute at the bar, you walk up and you initiate conversation. And it does require a lot of honesty as well. They're saying that all of this stuff is going to happen for you and things are going to turn um, in your favor, but only if you're co-creating this reality. It's very much this month of um, like, hey, we the universe or God, or whatever, set up the perfect storm for you to meet somebody and fall magically and deeply in love. Do you care? Are you going to do something about it? So ultimately, that's your choice. Um, your stone of the month, if you saw the February video for a uh, general video was malachite and that will help you with so many things so if you could get to a crystal store and get yourself a malachite that can also help you to attract love because it's a heart chakra uh, color it's related directly to your heart chakra to open that up to help you release your fears so um, I would definitely do that if you have a crystal shop near you I do have one on my website if you want to purchase that one no pressure you can get one anywhere but um, and if you're not into crystals you're not but now you've got the guidance and you know what to expect in February. So best of luck. I hope you all find the love of your life and of your dreams. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.